All right. So how's everybody doing tonight, man? It has been, what, longer than I like. <laughs> it has been a little while. And, uh, I mean, with the holidays and everything, for anybody watching this later, like a VOD, maybe on YouTube or on Twitch or whatever, it is, what, the day after Christmas? Technically two days after Christmas now? The holidays have been crazy, man. Both just, you know, because... I'm busy with my own life and, and, and people and everything, but then also at my my day job, the schedules have been getting all messed up and just been busy there. It has been insane. So I haven't had much time to stream lately, sadly, but thankfully now that the holidays are kind of winding down, we should be able to get back into it, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So I've set a schedule and we're going to try to stick to it. And the first game that we're going to play after coming back from said a kind of unintended break, is Men in Black 2, Alien Escape. I, to be honest, don't expect this game to be all that great. I have played just a tiny bit of the game before to make sure everything was working okay. And it's, uh, it's a game that exists, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's about all I have to say about it so far. I, I don't know, man. It wasn't, it wasn't great from what I, from what I played, from what I saw. Got a little bit of a cutscene, a little bit of an intro here. I didn't watch any of the cutscenes or anything whenever I tested it out, so... I don't know, maybe this will be a redeeming quality for the game here? I wouldn't hold my breath on that, but, you know, maybe. There's a possibility. All right, so, what are, what are we looking at here? I mean, okay, so there's a, a UFO, a bunch of cool aliens and crap. Oh no, asteroid, is it gonna is it gonna hit the UFO? Is it gonna crash into it? It's gonna go boom. Oh man, that advanced alien tech there. There's no way they're gonna notice this giant asteroid or, or comet or whatever. Oh did you see that? Completely just crash into the side of it. It's gonna explode now or crash into Earth or something. Or I mean Wait, is it just gonna go into the sun? How does that work? Men in Black HQ two thousand and two, oh okay. I honestly don't remember when the movies came out. <laughs> Gentlemen, we have a situation. We just received word from the Varaxian High Council. They're chatty, aren't they? We must be paying for their calls by the nanosecond. Hey, Mr. According Noodle. For a deep sea trench, our sub team sent this back. Is that the UFO? Okay, so it crashed on Earth. SS Maximus Securitas, the largest prison ship ever built, containing the most notorious criminal scum in the universe. It was lost approximately 30 Earth years ago, following an accident that caused the ship's control systems to fail. The Braxians assumed it crashed into our sun. Mm -hmm. Deep fried crispy criminal. Pray not, kid. <laughs> what the Turns hell? The ship missed the sun completely and splashed down here on Earth. Our sub-team breached the hull, but instead of a waterlogged mass grave, they found... An empty ship. Exactly. The lights were on, but no one was home. So, Gentlemen, is that meant to be J and K? Anything we've faced before. And I think it is. ...non-registered life forms are at large, each and every one a hardened criminal. You're the best team I've got, so I'm relying on you to deal with it. So, they... You ready to kick some alien butt? Born ready, Slick. I'm fairly certain they didn't use the actors from the movies, Will Smith and I don't remember the other gentleman's name, but it definitely does not sound like them. <laughs> now, Agent J and Agent K, if I remember correctly, though, that was their names in the films, right? I'm pretty sure it was. So, like, I don't know. I feel like if they couldn't have got the original actors to come back to do the video game, maybe they just shouldn't have called them that you know maybe they should have uh, i don't know just made up a couple new characters or something but what options do we have we have difficulty that's that's fine we'll leave it on normal for now i suppose all right from the little bit of test that i've done the music i don't think needs to be turned up all that high the voice though is pretty quiet and the sound effects can be a little deafening so we're gonna we're gonna turn that down just a little bit there and hopefully we'll be able to hear the voice clips reasonably well in that case Controls, we got the Xeno Bomb. We can strafe left and right, switch weapons, turn around, fire, roll. 
and move. Why does it tell us L3 is unused? I'm like, it doesn't say that for any of the other buttons, so why that one? Yeah, uh, whatever. Then we got high scores, cool. So this game is like a, I don't know, an arena shooter, kinda? Like you're, you're spawned into an area and then you're just kind of expected to kill a wave of enemies and that opens, or multiple waves in some cases. That opens a door, you move into the next area, kill that wave or whatever, and then you just kinda, kinda keep going from there. So I guess you would call it a, uh, an arena shooter. We got the making of, that's kinda neat when they include that in games. Alien data, I'm guessing we'll unlock this kind of as we go through the game. So all we know right now is the Man Manitoba, aka Worm Guys. Generally a friendly race, some Manitoba can be quite self-centered and will not hesitate to abandon any situation they think is a hopeless case. Their twin addictions to the caffeine and nicotine can make them somewhat irritable and unpredictable when either substance is in short supply. Honestly, though, mood. Like... <laughs> um... Okay, so that tells us absolutely nothing. And then we have boss mode, whatever that is. We don't even mess with that. What the hell? Combat skill training. Nah, we don't need no training. All right, yeah, so that's J and that's K. So if I'm not mistaken, like I said, I'm pretty sure these are meant to be the guys from the movies, right? But, I mean, they don't look like them. They don't sound like them. So I don't know about that. But yeah, so we'll, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> Alien scum need weapons. Lots of weapons. Arming them all is way out of the league of a two-bit dealer like Jeeves. But we've turned up a lead on someone who fits the bill. A Cerudian by the name of Grok. I want you to head dockside and put the squeeze on him. All right, we can do that. Aliens are going to need weapons. There's an alien weapons dealer. We got to go capture him, I guess. Seems simple enough. Assuming we can make it to him. I did have a little bit of difficulty with it, the little bit of time that I spent. I'm not going to lie. Uh, a shooter, like arena shooters and just like bullet hell style games, excuse me, aren't generally my jam. They're just a genre that I'm not particularly good at. So we'll see how well or how poorly this goes. This is turned up all the way in OBS and it still feels a little bit quiet, especially the voices. Oh well, I guess. <laughs> well, 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 what have we here? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's not what it looks like. Oh, no, don't tell me. I, just minding it for a friend, right? Hey, hey, come on, Jay. You know how it is. Oh, I know. So, uh, what else you minding around here? Uh, would you believe, uh, toasters? Hmm. Get it, boy. <laughs> Lord. All right. Well, the, the voice acting here is about as good as the, uh, <laughs> about as good as the little bit of gameplay that I experienced, so this should go well. All right, uh, how do we shoot X? X to shoot, got it. So yeah, I, I, there's a strafe. Okay, gotta, gotta get used to the controls. So the enemies just kind of spawn in. Sometimes they'll come from, like, doors or shipping containers or whatever the case may be. But most of the time, they just kind of spawn in. You don't aim up or down. That just kind of happens automatically for you. Uh, you just have to aim in the direction of the enemy. So it's kind of like uh, like an old Doom game or something in that regard, I suppose. I see we got a little menu or a radar down in the bottom right-hand corner. That's nice, I suppose. I like how the, the chair's like flipping around faster and faster, presumably as it gets hit. I'm also very bad at shooting with a uh, with the controller. I am definitely a keyboard and mouse guy. I should probably be like dodging some of these shots too or something, you know? All right, so I see we got another gun down there though. I don't know like uh, what makes the guns better or worse. Like if this one better for, for certain situations, I have no idea. Feeling good. It looks like maybe we're powering it up or something, though, because it's got three little light bars on the bottom right-hand corner where our main 
gun, whatever it's called here, uh, only has one. So maybe they get stronger as we go along. And then I do also know that we have that yellow looking thing there is like a, a big AOE murder everything instantly button. I discovered that because I wasn't sure what the controls did the first time that I was playing around with it. And I ended up uh, using it. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty cool. Like it just instantly killed everything, which was nice. But also definitely wasn't the location that I probably wanted to be using it in. So that guy is pretty, uh, pretty beefy. We're also taking a lot of hits here. Holy crap! Okay. So maybe, maybe we should be strafing more. I feel like strafing is kind of where it's at, man. So those things that drop too, they seem like they're only good for a certain period of time. So we should probably try to pick them up a little bit quicker, because presumably they do something for us, right? Uh, also, we died, so that's good. Uh, this dude's got a shield. Can we, like, take down the shield or something with this thing? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, more people just, uh, randomly spawned in. I guess it's, you know what, it's alien tech. It's fine. They have alien technology that lets them just spawn out of nowhere. It, it makes perfect sense. Holy crap, there's a lot of dudes. Uh, thank you for dying. I don't know if there's some sort, there's probably some sort of strategy to it, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't feel so oh man, okay, we already lost two lives. We are not doing too well with this one here. We are not doing too well at all. So we seem to move slower when we strafe, but it lets us kind of more easily shoot where we want to shoot at. So that's, uh, that's a thing, I guess. It's probably probably worth it to strafe. I think we unlock the next area here. Also, it's weird. That dude's, like, on guard. But also, like, the one behind him back there, wasn't he shooting at us already? So I don't really... Okay, nope. Okay, so is that shield, like, can he not be hit at all whenever that shield's up? I, I honestly don't know. All right, more dudes are spawning in. We'll just uh, we'll just stay back here. We'll just stay back here. Let y'all uh, let y'all congregate over there. Maybe we can get a, a hit in every now and then, you know, just a, a little bit. I don't know when this game was put out exactly, but I feel like there were definitely games with more solid shooting mechanics out way before this game, you know. <laughs> like I mean, GoldenEye 007 was far from perfect if you go back and play it now, but even it, I, uh, I I feel had a little bit more solid to shooting mechanics. Oh, I see we also got another weapon here at some point. I don't even remember picking this thing up, but. All right, does it have like a, a limited range there or something? Oh, okay, dude spawning in, dude spawning in everywhere. Holy crap. Well, I think we just got a game over. <laughs> We're at zero and we died. So does that mean GG? I think that means GG. Yep, that's a GG. <laughs> All right, so it's going well. It's going well. Also, it looks like it may be... I'm going to switch my personal view here to out of OBS. I want to make sure that it's not looking darker than it's supposed to. I My setup hasn't really changed other than the fact that I'm using a different cable, but I did upgrade my RetroTinx firmware. And I'm pretty sure I have the settings mostly set the same as how I had them before. But because of the problems we had with uh, darkness and levels before, I just want to make sure this is how the game is supposed to look. With it being somewhat dark. We'll play, uh, we'll, we'll get to a point where we're, n like, a, a safe here or whatever. And then I'll switch the view back over to my, uh, OBS view here and then compare the two. But... Now, granted, it's on two different monitors, but from what I can see so far, though, it looks like it may be a little bit dark. may have to uh, change it out of. Right now, I have it on full mode. I might have to put it on the limited mode, which I think is actually, now that I think about it, while my monitor itself looks great in full mode, I think OBS did have problems with it now that I, now that I remember. 
So yeah, let's uh, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. We'll just pull up the menu. If I could hit the right button. And then HDMI, we want color space limited. I think even though it looks a little washed out now in my monitor. Yeah, I, yeah, that looks much closer to how it looked a moment ago as far as OBS goes. So this is how we want it. Perfect. Glad we got that sorted quickly and it didn't uh, not like 10 videos deep or something like that. We could definitely use a health pop-up. Is there a chance of any of these boxes dropping health or is that just not a thing that's going to happen? Looks like that's not a thing that's going to happen, which is too bad because we definitely need some health. Also, am I, am I blind? Am I missing something? There's nobody here, right? Oh wait, is it behind the boxes maybe? Oh, come on, can we can we get up here please? Nope, nothing there. Did did the game glitch? I feel like the game glitched, man. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, no, it definitely did. There was an invisible enemy or something cuz once we used that bomb, which I was hoping to wait until later on, the thing on the mini map disappeared and then suddenly it led us into the next area. So, <laughs> There must have been some sort of enemy glitched out there. <laughs> Quality game right here, man. Let me tell you. This game is A+. Plus. I pick up these things. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't really matter if we pick it up if we just uh, die instantly after, after grabbing it, eh? All right. We got the other gun, which I'm still not convinced is any better, actually, though. To be honest. Hey, look at that. Okay, so since we powered this one up now, it has two little little shots on the side so those things are power-ups for guns oh but are they limited maybe they only last for a certain amount of time there's a health pickup that's nice we definitely needed that there's a big dude i don't want to fight the big dude he's going to murder us i think that's another health pickup over there okay yep yep you're uh you're not very kind all right, we picked up another weapon, though. I see that. We need, like, homing missiles or something <laughs> to compensate for my, my terrible aiming here. I right, grabbed that other health pickup. I think we missed that the first time around. All right, so we got the other weapons now. So that's the regular gun. This is, like, a three-way shot. I, I have to assume that the, the newer guns we pick up are better in some way, right? Like, what would be the point if they if they weren't? Just gotta freaking hit the button quick, man. Rapid fire. As long as they all just spawn in front of us, it'll be okay. And just, just don't, just don't, uh, don't spawn anyone behind us. Uh, or just literally on top of us. Oh, I don't know if we were supposed to kill the worm, dude. I, I imagine probably not. Considering, aren't those the ones that like work in the offices and whatnot in at Men in Black? headquarters whatever the hell you want to call it so probably shouldn't have murdered him but you know it's fine it's fine it happens sometimes it was a mistake i'm sure he'll forgive us okay big dude spawned in our ass hey that was okay we got rid of him a lot quicker than we did last time just so many people man they are everywhere like I said, I am not good at bull bullet heli type of games. I I have trouble dodging so much crap. You put like one dude in front of me, that's fine. You know, one one big boss or whatever. Games like Bloodborne and stuff like that, that's that's you know, that's great. But then you get a bunch of little dudes all firing at me at the same time, and I, I struggle, man. I struggle bad. Did somebody just spawn behind us? No. A wall just spawned behind us. Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Uh, also, way to put a giant dude right as soon as we spawn in. Holy crap. And this is on normal. I'm, <laughs> I'm normally, like, when I play games off stream, I normally play them on the hardest difficulty, just kind of by default. That's normally what I what I hop into. That's kind of how I like to, to play my games. I am glad that I didn't do that for this game because I'm fairly certain we would be screwed. Also, just spawning in more dudes behind us, that is a cheap tactic, man. Uh, yeah, we'll take the health. We probably need that. Oh, they're up top. They're up top. Get them. Get them. 
Yeah, so like I was saying earlier though, for me, it is the day after Christmas, two days technically, because we're after midnight, but really just the day after Christmas. And man, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday, whatever it is you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate at all, I hope you just had a decent day. Uh, maybe got a chance to relax, got some time off, rest and recuperated and all that good stuff. My wonderful girlfriend, Mr. Noodle, who may or may not still be in stream, picked me up a couple PS2 games, so I appreciate her for that. Uh, this being one of them. <laughs> so, yeah, aren't we aren't we glad that she picked me up this wonderful game for us to uh, to to enjoy? <laughs> there she is. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. I don't know what we would do without you and uh, the ability to play Men in Black 2 Alien Escape or whatever the heck this is called. So are we like it seems like every time we get hit, we're kind of losing our power up there. I don't know how. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Thank you for the five bit cheer. I appreciate you as always, love. Um, crap, yeah, so I don't know, like, that power-up, if that... It's obviously temporary, we we discovered that, but does the, the amount of time that it lasts have something to do with how, how much damage we take, or... I mean, that'd be a nice mechanic if it is. Reward people who are actually decent at the game. Not me, obviously, I'm terrible at the game, but, you know... <laughs> People who aren't terrible, they can get a little reward for it. That's nice. So, ah, oh, dude, is this shooting like four or five shots now? Nice, okay. I don't see anybody else on the radar, so we might be all right. Let's pick up the health, because we are on our last uh, life here. Okay, dude's just spawn in. We knew that. We were, we were, we were ready for it. And they're spawning in behind us now. Excellent. That is good game design right there, man. Excellent game design. Things just spawning in randomly all over the place, especially behind you or on top of you, is exactly what I like to see in my video games. You know, if a game didn't do that, I would be disappointed, honestly. You know, what's the fun if it's, uh... You're not just dying to cheap tricks left and right. Okay. Yep, in a, in a tight corridor with a big dude. Oh, and a, a wall popped up behind us, too, so we can't... Oh, okay. And another one behind us now? Yep. Very, very good. Very good. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Glad we had that little section there. <laughs> I don't... I just, with some of these games, I don't know who who makes them, who plays them, and just thinks, you know what? This is what this is what gamers want, you know? This is what anybody who plays video games, they, they obviously want really cheap sections of just waves of enemies spawning in especially big guys that are really hard to kill and you know we're just gonna have a bunch of them spawn in right on top of the player and then we're gonna close them in so we can't even try to to escape or run away or get to any sort of vantage point or anything like that no 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 we're just gonna spawn them in right on top of you i died again in the interest of not replaying the same exact section of the game over and over and over again, we may end up having to drop the difficulty down, which is just terrible. I feel terrible doing it. Not because there's actually anything wrong with playing on easy mode or, or, or normal, if that's your jam, you know? It's just because I normally play games on, on hard or even the hardest difficulty, depending on the game, you know? So for me personally, it just, just uh, kind of kind of eats me away a little bit on the inside having to do it. But I think we're going to have to, man. I don't want to have to keep replaying the same section over and over again. We're going to we're going to give it one more go before we uh, before we succumb to, to turning it down. Can we just hit the guy? Maybe that would definitely help. All right, we can we can start our our. Adventure maybe by not dying instantly in the first area. Okay, there is this uh, button to help us quickly turn around, which I do appreciate that actually. That's kind of nice, you know? Having a, a button that just turns you around instantly in this sort of game, I feel like is a godsend. But when you're when you're this bad at the game, I don't know how much it actually helps. <laughs> okay, hit the wrong button. 
I'm trying to shoot guys. I didn't even see your bullet. What the heck? Your bullets are invisible. Really good. All right, so we still have our bomb. Thankfully, the game didn't glitch out this time and make us give that up. And we didn't lose a life, so we're, we're, we're doing better than we were last time, if nothing else. Not by a whole lot, I feel like, but you know, better is better, regardless of how, how little that better may be. We can go ahead and pick up the other health pack now, since we are so low. Might as well try not to lose a life. Right, and we know after we kill so many of these dudes that another big dude, or not another big dude, a, a wave of dudes is going to spawn in at some point here. We do have a dodge roll. I could be trying to, to dodge roll out of the way of these shots. Um, the camera's kind of... I don't like that we don't have an independent camera and aim either. That is like a cardinal sin in this style of game, in my opinion. You know, it, I think it would have been better as like a twin stick shooter almost. Lift the camera angle up a little bit higher since it's already a pretty high angle on the camera here. And then just let us use one stick to control the character and the other stick to pick which direction we're shooting. Just make it full twin stick. I honestly think that would have been a better design decision. All right, he's dead. And here is everybody spawning behind us now. We're just going to ignore the big dude if possible and just get rid of all these little dudes that are that are shooting us in the ass. All right, use the, the quick turn button. All right, well, I said we were going to ignore the big dude, but I guess everybody else is around the corner and they're not going to path to us. So, you know, like, what do you what do you do whenever they're there? There's one guy left like that and he's just firing constantly. Maybe if you wait for a moment, he'll stop to, to reload or, or, I don't know, take a take a break, have a, have a quick smoke. The, the one aliens, the worm people, they're addicted to, to nicotine and caffeine. Maybe the little guys got to, or these these bad guys, I guess, not little guys, got to get their, their nicotine and caffeine fixed too, you know? All right, we're going to leave him alone. I, I, I don't think we're going to get any sort of bonus for doing so, but... We're going to try not to kill him this time. All right, so the trigger for that one was definitely how far we walked up. I was thinking it was just whenever we killed all the enemies, but no, that's obviously wrong. I have one left. We also need a button to, like, lock in place. And then shoot. Like, uh... What game is it? Uh, Torchlight, for instance, and, 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 and other games like it. I'm fairly certain whenever you're using a character that has the, uh, like, a bow and arrow or whatever, isn't that the sort of thing you can do? You can hold, I don't know, control or alt or something to stand in one location and then fire off all around you? I feel like that's a pretty common thing in games like that. This game would definitely benefit from a similar sort of feature. If it is as I'm thinking it is. All right, so turn around. Actually, yes, there we go. Get him, boy. There we go. Excellent. I would have loved to save that health and then come back and get it maybe whenever we needed it or something. But as soon as we cross this barrier right here, we're just going to be locked into place anyways. So no traveling back to pick up health or, or power-ups or whatever that you don't need at the time. Might as well just pick it up for the, the minuscule amount of health that we actually needed to regen there. Also, is it just me, or do our shots have a limited range, but theirs do not? Am I mistaken in that? I kind of hope that I am. <laughs> that's kind of some, some BS there, if that's not the case, you know? If, if ours has limited range and theirs doesn't. Okay, well, at least with these guns, that's true. I definitely cannot hit them from back there, but they were hitting me just fine. All right, so we're getting a lot of power-ups for this purple, this purple gun here. I mean, it like, it kind of blows up. I feel like it would be a more powerful weapon, but I don't know if it actually is or not. We got four bars on it. Now, granted, we're also about to die, though, so... Oh, jeez. Yep, we died. All right. <clears throat> I hate to do it, 
I hate to do it, but I think we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna quit out, and then I think we're gonna drop the difficulty down just because I don't want to stay in the same area forever, you know. So while we're while we're doing the loading, because I'm just going to switch over to easy mode, I guess. Um, we're just gonna switch over to that and then uh, load back into the game. So while we do that, I'm gonna switch us on over to the please wait screen or whatever you want to call it. While we just run a quick ad break and I get a stretch and a drink in and uh, switch that stuff over. And then we'll be right back to the game. What are you wowing, Mr. Noodle? What a loser? You're a loser. Okay, that's first person camera. Gotcha. This is the zoom on the camera. Cool, cool. Let's go and zoom out. Okay, okay. You know what? So far, so good. That may be zoomed a little too far out. Okay, the camera may be just a little too attached. Um, we can't swim, apparently, so that's good to know. <laughs> What's that? You said yes. That's your goal with it. Just keep it small. Yeah, yeah. That's just go into it with the right mindset, man, and then I think you'll have fun with it. Okay, the collecting, it needs to, you need to have any game where you're collecting stuff. You need to have a bit of a radius around your character where you can collect things in. Because otherwise it's just, it, it gets too uh, frustrating, right? To be exactly on the things that you have to pick up. Hey there, Gertie. You ready for the tournament yet? You know, someday I'm going to be a great shepherd. I can't all these dupes by myself. And I'm only 12. I bet when I'm as old as your dad, I'll be the greatest shepherd that ever lived. Hey, where is he? He's cutting things a bit fine, isn't he? I can't wake him up. He won't get up. Gee, didn't I just tell you I was only 12? You're going to need some old folk to help you out with this <laughs> one. Go I, uh... And speak to Grandma. I don't know what the actual goal is. I guess just to find our dad, man. Or, or find someone to help our dad. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I know next to nothing about this game, just to be honest with you. See that green arrow over there? Uh, yes. Okay, then. Head over to that spot and you'll meet the gypsy. She's almost as old as Grandma. I'll be... Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Mr. Noodle. I did hydrate and stretch. I appreciate the reminder. Um, so it turns out there is no easy. <laughs> There's just normal and hard, it looks like. So we're going to leave it on normal. I selected Agent K this time just to see if that's any different. I don't know if he gets different guns or different cutscenes or or anything i have no idea i imagine it's at least different dialogue right so we're gonna try him out maybe we'll have a, a better luck there let's see if the cutscene is any different i i know i'm bad at these kind of games but i am just, just a little bit surprised after three times i didn't even make it through the first area <laughs> feels bad man feels bad but that's all right. Maybe we'll have better luck with Mr. K. Or Mr. K. Agent K? Like, whatever his name is. I was making dinner not too long before I, I started streaming here. And I burnt my finger. And it's like one of those burns that's not super bad. But it's just enough to kind of throb a little bit. Like, I don't even think it's going to end up blistering, I don't think. But it's bugging me a little bit. Right, so is that is that K this time? Yeah, there we go. So we got Agent K. Gonna talk to Grog. Grog, you are in violation of Statute Six Three Five of the Triton Accords. Step away from the desk slowly and keep your claws where I can see them. K, a long time no see, buddy. Not nearly long enough from where I'm standing. What are you hiding? Uh, would you believe uh, toasters? <laughs> all right so basically the same joke <laughs> thank you mr noodle for the kisses it is it's all better now but yeah so he he was a little more uh a little more you know man of the law style there or whatever mentioning specific um whatchamacallit specific laws that he may have been breaking or whatever 
and then saying like you know assaulting a, a man in black will get you 20 years blah 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 whatever so like yeah i mean little personality differences but they did the same joke with the whole him hiding toasters thing like so they didn't really change anything about the cutscene. so there's one difference right away we get two guns instead of one he dual wields so that's one difference right away between him and Jay, which maybe will make K a little bit easier. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because Agent K is supposed to be a veteran uh, man in black where Jay was like the new guy, right? Well, I guess not so much a man in black too. K is definitely still more experienced than Jay, but by men in black too, Jay was already, you know, doing pretty well for himself. Save the world at least once. It looks like our power-ups definitely pop out whenever we take hits, which is a problem for us because we are always taking hits, man. Oh, hi, big guy. Yep, I wish I had could see you there, but uh, this camera is terabad. Uh, do we not pick up other weapons as K? Are we stuck with the, the basic blaster that we have? Oh man, how old is Agent K? You see the, that backflip he did there? Look at that, that's incredible. That's an agile old man there. All right, we should probably like dodge roll out of the way whenever that's shooting at us like that. I wonder if the dodge rolls are just, like, does it have iframes? Or is it, uh, do you actually have to dodge for it to, for it to work? I don't actually know, I'm just curious. I wish that we could aim while we run. Like, aim in one direction while we run in another. Which you can technically do, I guess, with the, oh, I didn't mean to use that. I definitely did not mean to use that. I was going to use it at the end whenever we're in that really tight corridor. Oh, wait, no, we did get other weapons. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty cool. That bounces around a lot, man, and it has a lot of shots in it. Very nice. I'm assuming that it's a pretty weak weapon because of how, how much it bounces around, but I don't know. What is this? I'm assuming this is like really high damage, but close range. I I have no idea. The weapons are completely different. Well, at least that's one thing that's different between the playing the two different people, you know? It's not completely the same. Although we took a lot of damage messing around with those weapons trying to figure out what they did. Uh, so, yep. All right, we lost two lives already. This is going well. <laughs> All right, just gotta, just gotta mash. You need a turbo controller, man. Oh, we accidentally killed the, oh wait, no, he's not dead. Okay, thought we killed the, what's it called? The Mana, Manitoba? I don't, I don't know. Oh, hi guys that are gonna randomly spawn behind us. How are you today? Let me just, uh, let me try to dodge roll out of the way here so we can all have some breathing room. You know, we don't all have to be on each other's jocks. You can just uh, back up a little bit, give yourself some space. It's not against the law or anything, I promise. I'm an officer of the law, you can believe me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this gun seems like it's really good for getting rid of groups of weak people. But I wonder if, yeah, that's the gun we want for getting rid of people like the big dudes here. Oh! Wait a second. Did it did it have like a, a charge up missile attack or something? What was that? It, it, there was some weird effect that happened there. <laughs> also, does his gun shoot farther? Or maybe the basic gun has infinite range, but then the other ones don't? The one that Mr. J was using? Mr. J. Ah, Agent J. Keep mixing up my my Men in Black and my Batman villains. <laughs> Illegal alien murder. I'm sorry. 
Look, they are all criminals that crash landed on our planet. They started it. And at this point, they are doing just as much murdering me as I am them because I am bad at this game. <laughs> bad. Stop insulting their titles? What do you what titles was I insulting? Are you talking about the the Agent J and Agent K? I wasn't trying to insult Agent J and Agent K, just the fact that I keep calling them Mr. <laughs> Mr. J and Mr. K. Like a, like a Batman thing over here, the Joker, man. Harley Quinn calling uh, Joker Mr. J. Keep calling them misters, they're agents. I know, I know, but I can't help it. <laughs> For some reason, that's just what keeps coming into my head. Mr. K. I am ungodly bad at this game, though. I can't, that's what, four times now? We're in the first section of the game. There's no way I would ever make it through this game. <laughs> I'd be so screwed if I actually had to finish the whole thing, if I wasn't just trying it out. I would be screwed, man. All right, let's not uh, accidentally use the special ability right away. Let's actually save that for later on whenever we want to use it. I think that'll help if we can make it to that area, that is. Let's try to pick up the power-ups. Maybe picking up the power-ups will help a little bit. Not the health, though, because... Yeah, we need to save the health after we take a couple more hits, which I don't think will take too long, honestly. I'm sure it'll be soon. A little group of them here. I wish we had the other gun, the one that fans out and bounces around all over the place. That'd be helpful right now. All right, pick up that health. And then I heard the door open behind us. I don't think we need this health, but we can't come back and pick it up later, so... Grab it now just in case it adds any health at all to our pool. Can you die, please? Thank you. I don't understand why they felt the need to just keep spawning these people in. Like they do, you know? I feel like if they just had the people that were originally here whenever we came into the area, the game would be much better. <laughs> At the very least, I wouldn't be dying as much, and so then, for me, it would make the game better. <laughs> ah, come on, man. Taking hits left and right. So we haven't died yet, so that's a, that's a plus. So we're doing better than we did last time, at least. Pick up this, maybe. And then, as tempted as I am to use the thing, I'm not going to use the, the special ability. Pick pick it up. Pick it up, please. There's too many of them. I wish we had the other gun. I feel like it's really good for these guys, because these uh, red dudes only take one or two hits to kill. So having that gun that just fires a crap ton of shots that bounce around, I feel like is the ideal weapon. To clear out these dudes. Alright, hopefully that was all of them. I think it may have been. We'll go ahead and uh, pick up the health. Yeah, okay, that's the that's the next area. We made it to the next area, and we have two lives, almost full health. We're doing alright. I think... I don't want to jinx it or anything, but I think maybe... Maybe we got a winning run here. <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe we'll survive this one. Oh, wait, use... Uh, okay, I was kind of hoping that would do more damage than that, to be honest. I was obviously mistaken. Um, okay, remember when I said that I didn't want to jinx it, but we might be doing okay here? I was wrong. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm being punished for having hope. I didn't mean it. We're not going to win. We're going to die like every other time. Oh, okay. You're gonna spawn in behind me, and we're dead. But that's alright, that was only one life. We have three. We have three this time. Or, well, well, two plus zero or whatever. Point is, we're not on our last one. We are surviving, man. We got this. 
No problem. I shoot the dude up top, and then these guys are gonna spawn out of here. And behind me, I was trying to get around the dude that was gonna spawn behind me. Did it put up an invisible wall there or something? No, it doesn't look like it. I just couldn't get behind him for some reason. Maybe whenever he spawns in, he has a really big hitbox. That's my best guess. Alright, is that it? Nope. On top. Come on, just go down. Is it just me or did they have like a delayed death animation too whenever we were shooting at them? Also, I can't help but realize we still haven't gotten the other gun. So, I mean, that's a powerful gun for sure, but I don't know if it's worth... If it's worth, uh... Using there, to be honest with you, because of how long you have to wait for it to, to kind of load. And it's slow, too. So I feel like as far as damage output goes, we might be... Just as well off using... The standard weapon here. If we could get and hold on to one of the power-ups for it, too, I, I'm sure that would help out tons. But obviously, we uh, we can't do that, because we are bad at this. <laughs> Very bad at this. Alright, I noticed there's some health over here. Let's pick that up. So I think I forgot to grab it last time. I would cross my fingers, but uh, I'm worried if I cross my fingers, I'll lose what little skills I have here. I was dodge rolling out of that. That's BS. It didn't hit me. I want an instant replay on that. Is he dead? Is this the same one? Okay. Hello. Uh, dodge roll. Wait. Did it... I thought... For a second, I thought I did, like, some sort of homing missile power-up thing, but I guess not. Huh. Must have all been in my head. Hi, big guy. Can you, uh, can you die for me? Thank you. That was kind of him, you know? Doing what we asked like that. Just what I need. Um, hello. On top again? All right. Uh, can you please go down? Holy crap, man. We got a little over one life left. We, we're okay. We're okay. We got this. Just deep breaths and keep hitting the X button. I really wish I had a turbo controller. <laughs> that's That feels like that's what we need here. I do like the environmental sound effects, right? Like whenever you're in one of the steel bins, you get a little bit more of an echo there. Everything sounds a little more muffled and echoey. That's nice, you know? Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, I think the way he was stuck behind the wall or something there, he wasn't actually able to shoot us. Which is fine by me, man. Not upset about that at all. I'd like that power up, if you don't mind. Thank you, sir. Nice. Alright, maybe if we hold on to this power up, we'll be okay. Uh, I think I collected him. Did I get something for collecting him? I didn't realize that was a thing. I thought they were just, like, set dressing. So I never even tried to collect the other guy. I hope it's not, like, the sort of thing where you need to collect all of them to, to get some sort of bonus or, or something. So we definitely need all the bonuses we can get. Do you guys just want to walk around the corner for me here? Because if you want to walk over here and get shot, that would be... Fantastic, actually. Oh, okay. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. I was shooting the glass out of the windows. <laughs> right, wasn't there another power-up or, or health, health thing, health box? Yeah. Cool, cool. We need that. And then go back around. So this is where we died before, I think. The farthest that we made it, basically. But this time we still have our super bomb and we have the, uh, the, uh, we have an extra life compared to what we had last time. So we know these guys are just gonna spawn in like BS here because why not, right? That's how we, that's how we do things. That's how we design games, apparently. Alright, so 
Uh, yeah, just murder all those guys instantly to get them out of the way. And then... I... Uh, why am I on that gun? I don't want that gun. I want the regular gun, please. Oh, hi, big guy. How are you? I didn't realize you were behind me there. Uh, I definitely want the health, actually. Where art thou? Oh, that was actually open, that container there. Okay. That explains how we get into the next area. I was kind of hoping that would be the last area, though. I'm not going to lie. Maybe this will be the last of it? Maybe? No. Big group. Really big group. I think this is an ambush. <laughs> Holy crap. We are taking damage like crazy right here, man. So many dudes. So little time. I don't know if there's an actual cap on how quickly you can shoot. It doesn't feel like it. In which case, using a turbo pad would basically be cheating. <laughs> but honestly, I'm okay with that. Did I kill that dude? Did he die? Not sure. Oh, another, another... Oh, hi! Uh, yep. Look, I was just collecting an alien. What are you, uh... What are you all shooting at me for? So are these the illegal, the, the aliens that were, uh, that were on the prison vessel? Or are these aliens that, uh, are working for Grog or Grok or whatever his name is? Because if they're part of the prison vessel, how do they all know that I'm somebody they want to kill? I want to collect health and turn around. Thank you. And you can go down, too, if you like. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it whenever we can all work together, you know? If we all work together, we can figure out solutions that you never would have guessed even existed. What's this say? Clear? Cleared. Okay. Well, you know, I wish the whole level was cleared because I see death in our future. And I don't want to replay this section again. Oh, no. Lots of little guys. Lots of little guys are my undoing. Alright, uh, is there one on top? No. Doesn't look like it. How did I not hit you yet? Little, little dude. You can die too, right? Oh, okay. I think that's everybody their power-ups or or health or anything actually nothing very cool okay thank you is that health i think that might have been health oh no that was another of our super bombs all right yeah we'll definitely take that um and actually you know what it looks like a wonderful place to use it right there with as many of them as there were we would have lost health so freaking quickly hopefully they spawn in a little bit more slowly so that they're more manageable. So far, so good. Just a couple at a time. We can we can handle a couple at a time. Uh, okay, there's big dudes spawning in all over the place. I don't appreciate it. And my fingers are starting to hurt from hitting the same button so many times. <laughs> this is how you get a repetitive strain injury, or whatever the hell it's called. Pick that up, I guess. And health and another one of them dudes. I still don't know what them dudes actually do for us, but we'll pick him up because he's there. That's not cool. Why Why do you got to do this? Game, why do you got to be this way, huh? Oh, we got, the, we got the gun that I'm not actually sure is any good, but it shoots a lot of shots, so I'm into that. With as poor as my aim is, that's handy. Plus, like I said before, I feel like it makes quick work of the red dudes. Which appear to be the most common enemy type. At least in this first area here. We could, uh, we could actually really use a health pickup. So if anybody wants to provide us with one of those, that would be just dandy. I don't think having the... 
super wide gun is going to help in this area with as far away as everything is. You're dead. Don't play with me. That was BS. Can you can you just go down maybe? Oh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh go down please. Thank you. Ooh, health. Yes, 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 yes. Uh no, you can you can stay dead. Like you don't need to respawn. Oh no, we're taking way too many hits. Okay. Hide. Shoot. Hide. Shoot. This is this is this is what we do. Of course, they keep hiding too, which isn't helpful. If they hide, I can't shoot them. I don't think I've gotten a single hit in on them. All right, come on, come on over, boy. Yes, there we go. Said so I just got to get the other finger in there and uh, tap freaking quick, man. <laughs> come on, come on, go down, please. Please be the last area, man. We, we need this to be over. Oh no, more people spawning in. Just red dudes. Just red dudes? No, nope, there's a blue. Blue dudes are much harder to kill. And their shots are tiny, so they're kind of hard to see too. To, to even attempt to dodge their shots. Not that I'd be able to anyways, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. Is that it? I don't think that's it. How long does this go? <laughs> I can't take anymore. I can't do it. My fingers hurt, man. All right. Uh, are they on the other end of the wall? I think they're on the other side. Oh, good. It's one of these these guys here. Yeah. That's exactly what we need. Yep. Uh, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> I planned on going an hour and a half tonight, not an hour and 15 minutes, but I think we get the gist of it, man. I, I think we understand what Men in Black 2 Alien Escape is. I'm glad I've played it. I'm glad I can say that I've played it, but I'm not sure it's worth anything. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard, man. At least for me. I'm sure there are people out there that can fly through it like nothing. But for me, that is... that is, I'm having a tough time with it, man. Not my game. Not my type of game, obviously. But yeah, I think we are actually going to leave it there. I, uh... I don't have specific games in mind or anything like that, but I've started a new schedule. I mentioned it earlier in the stream, but for anybody who's just seeing this now or, or skipped through to the end of the VOD for some reason, I am going to try to stream on... Oh, what days was it? Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bit cheer. I don't like the game you got me. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> you can come try it if you want, Mr. Noodle. Do you want to try it on stream for everybody? You can uh, come on up here and, and try to play through the first level if you like. <laughs> you're you're more than welcome to, love. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a game, and I needed it for my collection, so I really appreciate you getting it for me. <laughs> no, sorry, you're going to take a bath? Ah, oh, come on, Mr. Noodle, you know you want to. <laughs> but anyways, so what I was saying, I'm, uh, my, my schedule, yeah, so I started a stream schedule... I'm going to try to be streaming every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I think were the days that I settled on, on top of most Sundays, whenever I don't have to work my normal job, I'm uh, going to be doing whatever game I'm trying to complete, so whether that's, you know, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is something that I want to complete on the PS5, um, on stream, we've been playing The Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. That's a game that I want to complete as part of the PS2 gauntlet. So whatever the case may be, we will be doing that on Sundays. And then on the nights, we'll be doing just more of the PS2 gauntlet stuff, working through all of the games released in North America. Sooner or later, hopefully, every single one outside of the stuff that is 100% copywritten music and uh, focuses on adult content, because can't do that stuff here on Twitch. But, you know, 
But yeah, so thank you everybody for joining me after a bit of a hiatus. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did, even if the game kicked my ass. I still had fun, and I had fun joining or doing it all with you guys. So thank you for being here, and I will see you. What is today? Sunday, Monday. So in a couple days, I'll see you in a couple days. We'll be playing Lord knows what. Maybe Need for Speed. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. Gran Turismo. That's another one that Mr. Noodle got me. I'm pretty excited to play. Uh, maybe a 007 game. We'll see if a, you know, a different shooter is a little bit better than this. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a couple days. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Mr. Noodle. Okay. So we got a bit of a map that we can pull out. We can pull it out mini-map style, although that takes up a lot of the screen just for a mini-map. <laughs> or you can pull it out full map style there. That is, okay, that's a little off. Um, so one complaint about the, the look of the game, once everything's in motion, 